Hey guys, it's Lee, and today I'm going to be making apple cinnamon monkey bread. So I'm going to start off with this Musselman's apple pie filling that I got at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to put that in a bowl. Actually, a spoon would help. Get all of that out. Then take a knife and run it through the apples and make them, actually this would have been easier in the can, but make them bite size. Now to this we want to add one tablespoon of flour, two tablespoons of melted butter, one rounded teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of vanilla, and a half a cup of light brown sugar. All right, and then just combine it all, stir it all up. All right, now we're gonna set this aside and Open four cans of biscuits. These are the seven and a half ounce cans. So I'm gonna open these and cut each of the biscuits into quarters. So once all the biscuits are cut up, we're going to put them in this bowl with the apple pie filling. And mix it until all the pieces are coated. So once it's all mixed up, you need to take a bundt pan that you have greased, I used spray, and floured. That'll just help it all come out later. And then just pour your mixture in. spread it out as evenly as possible. Now you want to pop this in a 350 degree oven anywhere from 40 to 60 minutes. You have to keep an eye on it. When I get this out I'll show you what it's supposed to look like and I'll let you know how long it took to bake. Here it is after 40 minutes in the oven. What I did was I stuck a knife all the way down through, pulled it out, it came out clean, so they're done. I'm gonna let this cool in the pan for a little while and then I will unmold it and I'll be back to show you what it looks like. I only let this cool for a few minutes and then I took a butter knife and ran it around the edges and sort of on the inside. So let's see if this works, wish me luck. Don't do what I just did. And there you go. Because it's uneven at the top, it's cracking a bit, but it'll still be delicious. So once it's cooled off completely, I will glaze it. All right, now I'm gonna make the glaze. In this bowl, I have one cup of powdered sugar. I'm adding in one quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla. or a little more because I spilled it. One half teaspoon of cinnamon. Sorry, there was something on there. And anywhere from two to eight tablespoons of milk. It depends really how thick you want it, how humid it is in your house. It depends on a lot of things. 
So I'm going to start with two and add more as I need it. If I need it. <laughs> Definitely gonna need more. Well, don't do that. Now I'm going to take the glaze and spoon it over the top. Okay, sorry about that. My memory card ran out of space. So I'm going to keep putting the glaze on the monkey bread. Okay, so here is the finished product, apple cinnamon monkey bread. I know it cracked a little here and there, but I promise you it'll taste good no matter what. Even if it all fell apart, it would still be delicious. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the little bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. You can also find me over on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.